Hey guys, how's it going? We're back with some more West of Loathing. And I don't remember what we were doing last time. Sort out trouble at the cemetery? Not yet. Uh, take your leave. I'm apparently supposed to do some in the cemetery. This one, I guess. Military cemetery. Alright, what we got? Burial plots, eternal flame, shovel, caretaker shanty. You poke around the shed, the caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a little while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. Look like, looks like the mayor was right about him having wandered off. Guess you're going to fetch him back here to do his job. Look at the tools. <coughs> well, tool. Singular. There's a shovel here. Since you already have a shovel, you leave it alone. It's not like you'd be able to dig twice as fast. True. Uh, look under the chair. Like all chairs owned by one guy, it has years worth of lint and food crumbs underneath it. Gross. You continue to poke around the shed, scope out the desk. It's covered with old paint spattered newspapers and features a large collection of tiny jars of paint as well as a jar of fine tip brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Curious. Check out the flyers tacked to the wall. You see it well, I know where that is. You find a flyer for the Military Reenactment Enthusiast Society. Apparently they meet regularly at Fort Memoriam. Maybe that's where the caretaker went. Interesting. Alright. Well, what's here? Eternal Flame. Caution, do not touch the Eternal Flame. Is this a burn? Eh. burning an Eternal Flame? Yes. Goblin is roasting a weenie over the Eternal Flame. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No is good fire, not too wasting. Fight. I can't remember the last time I fought a fucking goblin. It's been a what? I'm gonna continue to not fight goblins, because this is gonna be a massacre. Not a fight. You teach a goblin not to play with fire, at least not special commemorative fire, not while you're around. You got three goblin bratwurst and 40 XP, hooray! Short-lived and uninteresting. <laughs> That's great. Burial plots. Oh, Jesus Christ. Beyond this grave stand countless rows and columns of tombstones. Well, they're not actually countless. I've counted them, and there are like 990, and there are 999 of them. You can visit an individual plot by number if you'd like. Visit a plot. Uh. Heh. <laughs> First grave, it reads, First Lieutenant Seth Whitney Jr., 69th Innuendo Division. Dig it up. Hard attack, incendiary bullets, army field trauma kit. Um, let's visit 242. General Seth Shatner, 77th Armored Division. Hear the Graves resident scratching its coffin? Dig it up. Hey, bud, how's it go? How's it going? I'm gonna hit him up with a butterbean. Oh wait, what am I doing? I forgot Alice was the fucking skeleton killer. Skull chips and skeleton bone. Whoa. I wasn't done. Um forty two. Grave is quiet, dig it up. Burial whiskey Gold skull skeleton bone own ring. That's that's exactly what I said. Why not? Oh. Dig it up. Silver bullet, chemical bullet, incendiary bullet. Chest full of metals. Let's go. Um. Alright, we're done. Unless, like, anybody got a better number? Anybody got a number of grave they want? If you do, you should shout it at me, and we can come back and dig it up. Four twenty. Oh, I didn't think of that one! 
It was so sad. And terrible. <clears throat> Your travels are interrupted by a fairly disturbing sight, a skeleton covered with weird gr glowing mushrooms, which is shambling towards you and making angry hissing sounds and weird gestures. <laughs> Did that thing just give me the finger? I think it's supposed to be an incantation of some deal. An incantation sort of deal. Fight him. And by fight him, I mean... Psh, because Alice is the skeleton killer. We're gonna find the caretaker. Then we're gonna go put 420 into the uh, thingy. Mushroom covered bone! Gives me miscality. Alice studies the remains of your undead foes. And she has more damage now. Hooray. Alright, who the f which one of you fucks is the caretaker? Who's Jeff? Are you Jeff? Are you the cemetery caretaker? Yeah, that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you work in a graveyard. I'm actually here to tell you to get back to work because skeletons are wandering out of the place and causing trouble for the neighbors. Aw, oh, nuts. Alright. Well, look, I'm on a real winning streak. Here, I'll go back once it's over, okay? Um. How far from uh, Outfox and our. You've already lost. Look at the table, huh? You're outflanked and they still have reinforcement, uh, reinforcement chits left. <coughs> You've got maybe one cannon bombardment still in you, but the dice are way against you on this terrain. You've got two turns left, tops. Aw, oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, fine. Hey, guys, I'm going to cut out and go back to work. I'll catch you next week. Good, you motherfucker. Now we're going to go check plot 420. Because Chad is mad at me. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Is there any more Mimi numbers? Well, if you think of any more Mimi numbers, let me know. Now, hold up. I'm going to go bitch with the caretaker. Okay, well, whatever. Redwood, right? That's where we're going? That's where we're doing stuff? Uh, translate. Howdy! Did you sort out that trouble at the cemetery? Yep, caretaker's back on duty. Well, that's certainly good to hear. Those skeletons were a real nuisance. They sure have a way of getting under your skin. The mayor glances at the list of problems, offer to help. Look at the problem board. Let's do the soup shortage. We have a municipal. We keep a municipal soup kitchen open to help those who are down on their luck, which is pretty much everybody around here. <coughs> but we've run out of soup and need someone to go fetch some more from Soup Stock Load. Okay. That's weird. Oh, it's right there. Hey, Mjorn, interested. Oh, wait. How did Mjorn interested in trading? Yeah, sure, why not? What you got, Sally? <gasps> oh my god, I know how to fucking. Rain of Teeth. Dark Howdy.
Eh, when you're done reading it, you lock it up in a safe. That turns out to be slightly too difficult for you to crack, so it's gone forever. Dang it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go somewhere else. <clears throat> like super stock load. Oh hey, oh hey, I don't have Moxie. Uh, you're fun. Tuna. Pile of tailing smells a lot like onions. These logs have been pretty picked over from the looks of them. Dynamite, thermos of spiked coffee, and a lodestone ring. Ooh, gives me more meat. Uh, I don't have lockpicking too. Good god, lockpicking takes 400. Oh, hey look, soup. Oh. I thought that was meat. Oh, hey look, soup. Oh, hey, look. Cultist mask. Huh. This mine is the worst. It sucks so bad here. I've been in some lousy mines, but this one really takes the cake. Everything smells like soup. The walls are slick with it. I swear. I can feel it getting in my pores. <laughs> if I went to... <laughs> if I went to a doctor to, for a blood test, he'd probably tell me my blood is tomato basil bisque or whatever. Continue. Entry 2. We finally managed to get deep enough to hear the master, but it turned out the dang soup table is higher than we thought. We're spending 90% of our time bailing the stuff out and only 10% digging. I've got noodles in my boots. I hate this so much. Now the damn elevator's busted. It was always making a rattling noise, and the guys off shift couldn't sleep. That finally stopped, but it stopped because the elevator itself stopped, and we can't move it at all. Why do we even set up camp here? I didn't spend the whole day scrounging around to find replacement. 137, 59, 23 compression rings or springs for repairs we'll install them tomorrow <coughs> I'll read that in a second sorry grab a drink Oh yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Entry four. Boss says we're giving up here and heading into a real deep mine. Mine, 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 mine. mine they found up northwest. It's a shame we wasted all this work, but hot damn, it'll be good to get away from this soup. I will never eat soup again in my life. Got the springs installed proper like with the strongest behind the shortest bolt and so on. But there's no time to wrench everything down. Got a pack. Not like the elevator matters much anyway anymore. Really hope I don't screw up again and forget my diary here when it's time to leave. I don't think I'll <laughs> I ever manage to fill in more than 10 pages in the same diary. That's the last entry. Oh, hey. Smack the elevator in shape. <laughs> I love percussive maintenance. Alright, you see three different size bolts on the side of the elevator, which are all very loose. The sign says 3,200 pounds pressure required and some sort of gauge, which currently reads zero, whatever that means. You smack the elevator in the exact right spot to correctly position all three of the bolts, all in a day's work. Grab soup. It's a crack in the wall, but it's not an interesting crack. Grab soup. Slithery snacks! Grab some snakes. Spitting soup snake. I'm gonna tell you, this is what happens if you spit soup in me, bastard. You, 
get the hot bean. Spooky skull. You made mince meat of those soup snakes. We got stewed snake. Meat in the snake liver. What's going on over here? There's a lot of heat, but you can take it. And more soup. Is this the one I was thinking of? Hold up. <coughs> There's a skeleton out here in the desert. That's not very strange because people die all the time in the desert. This skeleton, though, is doing arm curls with a pair of iron dumbbells. He doesn't have any muscles, but somehow his bones are extremely ripped and or swole. That doesn't even begin to make sense. Medically speaking, yeah, that is utterly absurd. And then he hisses at me. Show concern for his health. Listen, I am pretty sure bones aren't supposed to do that. Back me up here, Doc. I'm a GP and osteo osteop eh, osteopathy isn't my specialty. I don't know how to actually say it. But yes, that definitely shouldn't happen. Hiss? The amount of marrow you've got there, I wouldn't be surprised if your blood cell production overloaded your capacity to reabsorb it. You could burst or at least start leaking blood all over the place. <laughs> the poor skeleton. Outfoxing is fun. What? 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 Oh, they all ignore me now because I have a mask. my uh, bean iron colander. <laughs> I'm gonna use the old bean. And I'm gonna hit this motherfucker with a bean. Job. You killed yourself. Bitch. Hey, we got the leader mask. That gives me more mysticality than my little uh, mean iron hat. So I'm be important. As weird as this is, I'm okay with it. I'm very strangely okay with this. A faint, wispy light at the side of the road res uh, resolves into a sad-looking ghost as you pass. Unable to speak, it just makes sad woo noises and gestures to its roadside graves marker, which has fallen over. For some reason, it's a huge millstone. Stand it back up. <coughs> You heave the millstone back up onto its on its edge and wedge it with a couple of sticks. The ghost sighs with release and fades away. Wiping off the moss, you see the epitaph: Judd Milson, 1937 to eight or 19, 1837 to 1889, died when a millstone fell over on him. Oh my gosh, those weren't sticks; they were. B oh no, yeah, those these are definitely just sticks. <laughs> you can say they were bones. Got him right here. <laughs> nah, my own beard off. I read that as bread because they're all fucking crazy. Offer to help with problems. Uh, stolen yeast. <coughs> Ow. Right, I'm okay. 
We take our yeast supply very seriously here in Brentwood. And that dang yeasty gang made off with the whole lot. A couple of fellas say they saw him, saw him loitering around the old brewery, so that's where... Blah, 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 blah. So that's so that's probably where they made the hideout. We need that yeast back. All right, I'll let this yeast. Here, crackle of a north southwestern lightning snake. Too bad you don't have a forked lightning rod with you. Wait, that wouldn't work at all, would it? Fight it anyway. Hey snake. Hey snake. Hey snake bud. Hey snake bud. I'll miss you. Yes. I've been waiting for one of those for so long. Now my cult is hat. Deals all the damage. I want this. What the fuck is that thing? That guy's hat got knocked off and covered in yeast. Grab it. Some kind of crazy yeast monster has apparently broken loose from the vats and eaten some of the bandits. I guess they brewed up something they couldn't put down. They could barley control it. You'll have to hop to it if you want to prevail here. Die then. A yeast beast. I didn't mean to chili bean him, but whatever. I could have probably killed him if I didn't fucking hit him with the cold beans. Yeah, I would have killed him. I wasted around. You beat the yeast beast to a pulp. You gain 200 XP. The remains of the horrible yeast beast. I guess you could take some back to the mayor. It's probably still good, right? Sure, half a ton of yeast. <coughs> so this whole yeast theft biz doesn't seem to have gone well for you guys. Yeah, no... I, oh, jeez, are you a bounty hunter? Relax. The mayor just wants his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Whew, okay. Well, the yeast is in that revolting pile. So what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread is all. I know a bit about brewing, and we figured if we came back with a couple of kegs, nobody would mind so much that we stole the yeast. No offense, but <laughs> it seems like you aren't much of a brewer. Hey! Well, ideally, you wouldn't end up with a ravenous yeast monster. That wasn't my... Okay, well, I guess it was my fault. But I understand that hap what happened. These vets are old, and we didn't clean them properly first, because we were in a hurry. I didn't. I think there were some frogs living in one of them, and you figured you could use the extra hops. <laughs> oh, she guy figured out you could set up shop in dirt water. Oh, yes, sir. In quite a little metropolis, I'd love to have my own place. So, Cal, go check it out, and give me the beer. Schmaltz a blue ribbon. Ah, I love these puns. They make me happy. Should say hoppy. Oh, hey. <coughs> okay, that wasn't very good. Breadwood! Yep. <coughs> Offer to help. Missing bread. The baker boys cleaned our, our, cleaned our bank right out, and that's not a bit fat. And that's not a bit fabulous, if you ask me. No, that's what he said, okay. Fortunately, they haven't been too secretive about the location of their hideout. Can you get our bread back? I mean, the place is called Breadwood. We have to have some bread. Alright. I'm gonna go beat him up. Baker Boy's hideout. <coughs> oh, I can't get the loco weed. Don't try to get loco. Yipes. Baker's better seen Butter Days! Let's go. I love this game. Hagar is agave. Nothing but inedible garbage. Big Baker's oven is long cold. More inedible garbage. Hmm, nope, this garbage is also inedible. Hey, guys! Hey, you boys wouldn't, uh, wouldn't know something about bread that went missing, would you? Oh, nuts. I told you we get in trouble, Billy. Shut up, Jerry. Wait to just blab everything, dude. Calm down, you two. 
Mayor just wants his bread back. <clears throat> Hand it over and the trouble you're in will be minimal. It ain't that simple, lady. We sold the bread for meat to start up this bakery. Why? Because we wanted to make something of our lives. Everyone in Breadwood... Because <clears throat> we wanted to make something of our lives. Everyone in Breadwood is just bums. Plus, like, everyone needs bread, right? So we figured we'd make it big. Okay, well, no problem. We take the mayor the bread you've made and call it even. Oh yeah, no problem, except for the fact that we don't know a dang thing about making bread. It turns out all we ended up is with is weird lumps. Well, that ain't true, Billy. The last loaf we tried was almost right. Yeah, sure, that one was nearly edible, but we're practically out of ingredients. Maybe I can help. I, uh... I might know someone. Hello. No. Howdy. Could you go crowd bane? I know of a baker and needs help. <coughs> really? That's wonderful. Oh, jeez, I can't go like this, though. I'm filthy. No one would ever let me step foot into the kitchen looking like this. Do you have a bar of soap I can mooch off you? Sure, no problem. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And now we go to bake. Good boys. Hide out.